Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure that on during my, the first days in my office, I had the opportunity to meet with Mr. Jens Stoltenberg, Secretary General of NATO. I highly appreciate the fact that uh, he has decided to pay his first foreign visit to Poland. I have uh, underlined during our meeting the fact that for my government, the issue of the security of Poland is of uh, superior significance. And for that reason, the military conflicts taking, taking place beyond our eastern border make both uh, Poland as well as the entire North Atlantic Treaty Organization uh, remember and take uh, good note of this uh, situation. I've also added that NATO has not neglected the um, threats. There have been decisions made during the summit in Wales that should strengthen the state of security in the region. But for that to happen, what we need is uh, a quick realization of these decisions. And uh, it was uh, one of the topics of our discussion today, together with uh, Mr. Secretary. We have also agreed with uh, Secretary Stoltenberg that uh, it is absolutely necessary to increase uh, the um, efforts of the allies. And what will that entail? It will, of course, entail bigger expenditure, bigger spendings uh, from other allied countries, bigger spendings on defense and the army. In the case of Poland, as you will very well know, we are ready for that. We have provided for that in our state budget. We have a state a bu a stable budget plus a very ambitious plan of modernizing our army, and that makes Poland a good example when it comes to uh, the state of uh, preparation for the realization of these uh, goals, goals that uh, have been decided on in Wales. We have also talked about the future um, a training mission of NATO, where the wave of violence and religious extremism call for the solidarity of of international community. I have also ensured, uh, Mr. Secretary, that uh, Poland, in line with the rules of uh, solidarity of the Allies, will support Mr. Secretary in his endeavors and his activities aimed at increasing the effectiveness of NATO. I have uh, also put forward a proposal for the talks that uh, are taking place uh, right now and that are soon to take place uh, as part of the meetings uh, that the secretary will hold with the Minister of uh, Foreign um, uh, Foreign Affairs and the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Mr. Szymoniak, that these uh, discussions should also serve as an inspiration for Mr. Secretary, because we do have our observations and we do have our comments, but these observations and comments hopefully will help you uh, in uh, enforce your uh, uh, goals and your visions, sir. I have also expressed my satisfaction for reason of the fact that yet uh, that the next uh, uh, NATO summit will take place in 2016 here in Poland, in Warsaw. I have also underlined the fact that for me personally, it is also a signal just how um, important Poland is becoming. I have also expressed my thanks uh, for the visit and extending my invitation for the next one. I have also made a declaration that I wish you all the best of luck, sir, in this very serious mission. And uh, at the end, Mr. Secretary, let me tell you that you can count on the full support of Poland in your mission. Thank you very much. Prime Minister Eva Kopacz, let me first of all congratulate you on your new position and to uh, underline how much I'm looking forward to working together with you and your government in both enhancing uh, the security of uh, Poland but also the collective security of the whole uh, NATO uh, alliance. As a former Prime Minister myself, I know how many different priorities you have. But I also know that Poland's security and defense is an important part of your program. And so is Poland's membership of NATO. From the day it joined, Poland has been a committed and active member of the alliance. And I'm grateful to Poland's significant contribution to our operations in Afghanistan and in Kosovo your contribution to our missile defense system and to our collective defense. 
And I would also like to commend Poland, uh, Poland's decision to rapidly and, significant, and significantly increase its defense spending, to bring it up to the NATO guidelines on 2% of gross domestic product. And I appreciate your efforts to modernize your forces. This is really an excellent example. And the example of Poland is an example I will use when I travel around and visit other allies, because you are among the few countries which are now reaching the goal of 2%, and that should inspire also other countries to do the same as you do in Poland. And it shows that we are taking action to turn the defense pledge made in Wales uh, into a reality to make uh, even more countries increase their defense spendings in the years to come. At the Wales summit, we took important decisions. These decisions will keep NATO strong. They will help keep our neighborhood stable by working with other partners. And they will keep the bond between Europe and North America rock solid. We will maintain a continuous presence in the east and part of the alliance, and we will set up a spearhead force so that our troops stand ready to deal with any threats. And we will ensure that we implement the readiness action plan in full. We face a dramatically changed security landscape in the East and in the South. These challenges show why we need NATO. Our alliance remains the bedrock of our security. NATO's most important task is to protect and defend our nations against attack. We will defend our allies, all allies. So, Prime Minister, Poland stands strong within NATO, and NATO stands strong with Poland. Thank you for receiving me at this uh, crucial time for the alliance. Thank you very much.